So, did you hear any knock? Knock at the door? No. So, you say, we saw in the last class, in the last class we saw, what did we see? That then, this lady is uh, all alone, she is in profound isolation, alienation, whatever you want to call it, loneliness, corrosive loneliness, you can see. Well, when you are all alone, in what happens, there is a corroding effect to your personality. And so you can say she is in a, in a state of corrosive loneliness and waiting for a knock at the door, but no knock comes. Okay. And then here comes the next and uh, the last section of, last part of this uh, game of chess. You will see, as I told you, here, uh, this is, uh, in fact, it is, the title is taken from, as you know, Thomas Middleton's play, a game of chess, but uh, also there is another reference to Thomas Middleton's uh, play that is uh, women be beware of women. Yes. Two, two plays of Thomas Middleton, but the point is you may find this in this place. For example, in, in the women beware women, there is a game of chess going on between Livia and the, the mother of the Duke. Side by side in the next room, there is also another game of chess going on between the Duke and uh, Bianca. The Duke is trying to seduce Bianca. So both are considered to be uh, a games of chess. One is the actual chess, the other is what I just now told you, this uh, seducing a game of seduction. But whatever it is, you know, I, I, for me, the, I am not saying that you should agree with me, but for me, I think there's nothing to do with these games. But it is, the full title of this is uh, Life. Life is a game of chess. That's what I think. Life is a game of chess. That is. See, in this section, what you find is, there is no, no trace of the First World War. You always say, is there any trace? Nothing. All the characters, most the characters are from ancient stories. So like, for example, we have got Cleopatra playing chess with the fate, her fate, and then surrendering. Checkmate. Another character we saw, the... Uh, Queen of Carthage, Dido, playing chess with her faith, that is life. It's a life, uh, it's a game for her. Finally, she throws herself into fire. See that? So that is she also checkmate her. And when we come to this lonely lady, this lady in this, a nervous lady, as I told you, she is like a, a pressure cooker about to burst. That's that kind of mental uh, situation she is suffering from, mental the agony that she is suffering from. So she is asking, what shall we do tomorrow? What shall we ever do? What shall I do now? What shall I do? Speak to me, see? What you are thinking? Come, give me company. All these things she is saying, see? Uttering monosyllabic words like what, what, these things. So that is her that uh, mental pain that she is suffering. She is also playing a game with uh, life. That is fate. Finally what happens with no result, she also is checkmate. No, no, no comes. See that? And here, or you can see uh, the other guy, see, in the, we have already seen Terrius. Terrius and uh, Philomel. So there what I'm Philomel is playing chess. So in the sense that uh, life, Faith, they are sister. Faith, fated to be defeated. Humans are fated to be defeated. Humans are fated to be checkmate. This is the central idea of this section. Now go back to the previous one, same thing you went. All those Dennis uh, inhabitants of wasteland, all of them, they are defeated. Checkmate. See that? So that is the condition of human. It's a human condition that, that we are born to be defeated. 
this is a seminal idea of this is a seminal idea actually of the wasteland. Maybe it is influenced by historical factors like the First World War or even the personal agony that uh, T. S. Lewis was suffering because of his matrimonial misery. This first wife, maybe, but ultimately, what the T. S. Lewis is trying to tell us is human condition is you are born to be checkmate. That is solidified pessimism. That's what you find in this poem. Okay. So we coming back to the next. You can see another lady is playing chess with her life, and then checkmate. And finally, you will find Ophelia. What happens? She is also checkmate, defeated, fated, born to be defeated. You are fated to be defeated. You are fated to surrender yourself. That is, you can see now. Uh, whether you are a queen, whether you are a prince, whether you are a king, whether you are an ordinary person, whether you are a cockney woman, whether you are um, a very rich lady, whether you have got all the luxuries of the world, all the luxuries of all the queens and emperors and princes of this world, but still then what happens is you are defeated. Nobody to come to give you a knock. I mean, I come to this section also, this part of this section. Uh, life is a game of chess. You will find a lady uh, comparatively poor. Of a lower strata. She, she is playing chess. Her name is Lil. Lil. So here is Lil playing chess. See that? Some days. And if you have got, as I told you, got any doubt, I mean, any disagreement with me, Na naturally there should be, there, there, there ought to be some disagreement with me and um, I would welcome that. You can send your disagreement at Professor, Professor Thomas Matthew at gmail.com. Send it and I will send you a reply. And see, we will have a discussion. We, we will have a, what is called a net discussion. Why not? We have any problem, in the, even in the class now you can ask me, I'm going home, then you, if you cannot contact me, send your uh, idea, send your disagreement or agreement, your support or your, your, if you are against me, okay, I will welcome that. I always say that teaching and learning is a joint venture by students and teachers. Sometimes I am your student, sometimes you are my, I am your student and you are my teacher. At uh, other times, I am your teacher and you are your student. So that way you should take it like that, understand? There is, a, there has to be, there should be no obstruction to the flow of knowledge and also discussions like this. So coming back to this point, how now another character is playing chess with the faith. You can see that a little. So the section begins like this, you know. And in between you will find Harriya place is there. There are four, four places where there is that interruption. Harriya place. And it is again interesting that this is a, this is a, a part of the poem that you get all first person reporter speech. See, 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 it's a good example for that. So the, I said, she said, he said, the chemist said. That's it. All said, 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 said. That's so anything can become, uh, anything can be transformed into, or converted into uh, poetry. That is the message here. When it enters into the smithy of the artist, as James Joyce would say in the portrait of the artist as a young man. So it's in the smithy of the artist. Even these things like he said, you said, I said, she said, etc. become beautiful poetry. Understand that? Yes. So that's a very good example for that. Modernism, part of modernism, a characteristic of modernism. Yes. So the section begins like this. And naturally you will ask, I also would like, so after this, after completing the discussion of this, I will tell you that. Now till then, we, please wait. Okay. Then uh, you will get some ideas like this. Uh, so you see this, this little, uh, the uh, knock at the door. 
and it stops there. Then immediately there is a kind of an abrupt end and an abrupt beginning. See? And what does it how does it begin like that? It begins when Albert's when Lil's husband got demobbed, I said. I said. I did uh, I didn't miss my words. I I said to her myself. So who is this I said to her? That is Lil. The whole thing is reported. Huh? Nothing is happening at the time. A report. First person reporter speech you can say. So when Lil's husband got demobbed, I said, I didn't miss my words. I said to her myself. And then comes that interruption. A real place it is time. Now what is that intervention? We will see after a few minutes. So, hurry up please, it is time. Remember the places where interruption uh, comes in. Understand? So, when Lil's husband got demobbed, I said, I didn't mean my words. I said to her, myself. So important. What is it? Now I coming back. Make yourself a bit smart. That's the point here. So Albert's coming back. So maybe an answer so four years or we can see after a few lines, she's he's in the army, he has been in the army and he comes back. So she is uh, her friend maybe, this may be her friend, and uh, her friend says that Albert's coming back, make yourself a bit smart. So that's important. He want to know what you've done with the money he gave you to buy some teeth. So how to make smart you have to buy some teeth and the money has already been given to her. So you want to know what you have done with the money that he gave you. You should buy some teeth. You are the model out deal and get a nice such. He such. That is before before joining the other. You are the model out deal. Dum the other teeth out. And get a nice such. He said. I swear, I can't bear to look at you, he said. So his wife's face is, has become so, uh, uh, what, what, what is called, uh, so unattractive. She says that then, uh, ugly, I don't say, unattractive. He says that I can't bear to look at you. Then this lady was, who is advising her friend, she was there. And she said, no, I can't I? And pick up poor Albert. He has been in the army for four years. He wants some good time. This is the next point. So you have to be better your looks. For what? To give him some good time. Good time, you know, it has got that sexual, uh, sexual meaning. Good time. Yes. How handsome is a euphemism for that. So it's a good time. Yeah? And think of poor Albert. He has been in the army for what he is. He wants a good time. And if we don't give it to him, uh, others, that is another interesting thing. The society, how the society has been uh, become, uh, the society has become promiscuous almost, as, uh, as well as sexual morals are concerned. If the wife doesn't give, then others will. Uh, the others will. Then uh, the, actually, I see. If you don't give it to him, there are others with I said. Is there? She said. Something like that, I said. She said, is there something like that? He said, the situation like this. I said, yes, something like that, I said. And I says, and uh, then I know, then, then I will know who to thank. And give me a straight look. And then the interruption comes. Higher place, it's time. That is. And if you don't like it, if you don't like it, keep on. If you don't like it, get on with it. Or keep on, get on with it. If you don't like, get on with it. There's others can. Others can. They can pick and choose. But if Albert makes up, it won't be for lack of feeling. You should be ashamed to look so antique as this. You should be ashamed. She's blaming him to, to look so antique. 
this it remains our it remains a soft symbol our symbol who hangs here in a cage a museum piece so this lady friend says maybe friend she said that uh, you should be ashamed to look so antique and uh, there is a parenthesis and her only that one at that even she looks like this at that even she looks antique at that even she looks like a, a fit to be kept in a museum and this at just that even uh, and then the reply she said that i can't help it i can't help it she says and then gave me a long look she gave me a long look. pulling at her face gave me a long look and then the conversation continues uh, so that is the pill side took to is the pill side took to bring it off what that it means it means sabosh I have been taking pills one after another, and again there is a parenthetic, parenthetical comment that is in brackets. She has, she has already fired and died of, and almost died of Saint George. So yes, she has already fired children, and still this process continues, and therefore, and they don't want children, any more children, because uh, by the by the time, at the time when she was giving birth. to end job she was almost a dead woman so that and then so she has become so anti so is it she has already fired and early died of end job and uh, she continues she says is dumb piece said to to bring it out the chemistry the chemistry did it all right but i know been the same then the friend says You are a proper fool, I said. And if I was, so I would go and leave you alone. There it is. Then next question. Then next day, come at this. Then they say question. So they say, where do you get married for if you don't want children? Now here, please, it is time. That is the third intervention. And and. With that, uh, that if you consider, if you consider that this scene took place in a bar, in a bar, suppose you say, and if you say that a real place it is time is the bartender's warning, so far it is so good. But then you see the next, next part of the. the next part of this drama of lil albert chemist and lil sprans and that that sunday albert was albert was home albert albert was home they had a hot gun and and i was asked him to dinner I was invited to dinner to get the beauty of it hot now here comes Hurry up, please! It is time. Hurry up, please! It is time. Is there a bartender here? This happens where? This last part of it happens where? According to you, where does it happen? Where does? Is it in the bar or in the in in Albert's home? Albert's that Sunday Albert was home, and they had a hot cup, and there was. Asked him to dinner to get the beauty of it all, and then he asked, "Hurry up, please! Hurry up, please! This time, hurry up, please, please!" If you say that those lines right up to, if you don't, if you don't want children, if you don't, why do you get married for if you don't want children? Up to that, if you say it is in a bar, sometimes. We may, uh, we can agree. But then what about this? 
And then you say, suppose you say, hurry up please, hurry up please, it's time. Those three places, in the interruption in three places, you can say that is in the world. But what about this? So, according to me again, I beg to disagree. The sense that this, this is, this is, this has nothing to do with the button. This is a chorus. This is a chorus. And this part you can consider as a poetic drum. Where Eliot is fond of using this chorus. In his dramas you can see, in his plays you can see. And also he had got a special uh, interest in the use of chorus in Greek tragedies. You can see that. So I think that it is not the bartender saying like this, but it is, the, it is a chorus. It is a comment on the scene. And then what happens is, it's a one-man chorus, or two persons, I don't know, most probably one person. And then you can see another thing, and hurry up, and then immediately says, good night, Bill, good night, Lou, good night, me. Ta-ta. Good night, good night, good night. So that is drama is so. Then immediately we move to another drama. And what is that? Jilted by Hamlet. Ophelia decides to, Ophelia is determined to commit suicide. And she, uh, mentally upset, like a crack, she says, good night, good night, sweet ladies, good night, good night, good night, and drowns herself in a river. See that? Drowns herself, death by water. Fear the day what? So, uh, now if we go through the whole passage, what you find is where where does the interruption where does the inter interruption take place? First place is now Albert's coming home. When Albert when Albert was demobbed, I said, I said. I didn't miss my words. I said to her myself, hurry up please, it is time. So what, for what they should hurry up? Or who should hurry up? Go to the corners, if you say, you can say that, eh? you say this, you tell her, don't wait, tell her this, what? That she should buy some teeth with the money that eh? her husband had given her before he went to join the army. Then the next place where you where the interruption comes is and you have got you can see as the, the in that uh, group they are saying or uh, the reporting is going on by this lady, friend of Lil, and that is the uh, uh, first person uh, narrative as I said. Then uh, first person reporting. The portal speech, as I said. Then what happens is next, she gave me a straight look. That is, a, if, is there? She says, something of that I said. Then I will know who to thank. Then gave me a straight So there's something, something, something dubious about this character. Hurry up, please, it is time. That means, what follows next is, if you don't like, you can get on with it, and then, uh, then uh, if you don't, if you don't want, you can get on with it. That means she should, if Albert makes of it, one, two one before lack of telling, uh, all. So the are you pleased that probably it might in the corners it might mean that eh? you should warn her to put on some good looks. As otherwise, what will happen? Her husband may go in search of other places, whatever you call it. 
And then always we see that her condition, her sad life. She is looking so antique. She has been, so far she has been a child producing robot. She is only 31. In that way, if you say that uh, comparing to our present, present day standard, it's only marriageable age for girls. Yes, they have to settle down into the job. By this time, she really has already half a dozen children, minus one. See? And then what happens is, then after that she has been taking pills, pills for abortion, abortion pills, yes. She is forced to, because Albert won't leave her alone. And the, the, the question comes in, now she is asking this question, if you don't want children, why do you get married for? And there, a real place it is there. Means change your attitude. But you can, you can say like this, change your attitude. And then the scene shifts to Albert's home. And then again, hurry up please. Means don't talk and waste your time. Do something. Do, do take some corrective action. That may be the meaning of the cause. So, I am sure that you are going to disagree with me, but uh, as I told you, so you can, uh, all the descending notes you can send me at my email, that is my name, Professor Thomas Matthew at gmail.com. You can send it and we will discuss. We will have a net discussion. Okay. Now coming back to this and at the end of it. So look at all these characters in this section. They all play, they are all players of chess game. They are all playing their life's chess game. And what happens? Every one of them is checkmate. Once again, looking back, you will see Cleopatra, suicide. Dido, suicide. Then Terrius, sorry, not Terrius, but Philemon. It is. Uh, it is not suicide, but she she has surrendered. She has no other way of see. And this lady, a caged lady, you can see. You have got a caged lady. You can see, like Sybil is a caged, caged prophetess. So here, a woman is caged, but she has got everything. Sybil has got eternal life, immortality. But lacks one thing. What is it? Eternal youth. So she has become a museum piece. Now here, this lady has everything that the world can offer. All the pleasures and luxuries of kings and queens and emperors and emperors. All the rich, richest men in the world, just woman in the world, but she lacks one. What is that? Company. So Sybil. There is some, you can see now, you can see some, what I must say, silent dialogue. It's a silent dialogue between corrosive loneliness of Sybil and the corrosive loneliness of this she or this rich lady. She is lagging something? She is lagging something. But the prophetess played chess with her game, sorry, chess game with her life. She is defeated. Even a prophetess is defeated. What about this rich lady? Defeated. This is the human condition. You cannot escape from it. We are in a catch-22 situation where there is no hope of escaping. The only option is surrender. The only option is accept defeat. We are fated like this. So that is the pessimism. That is the extreme type of pessimism that we find here. A 
right from the first line to the last. Good night, sweet ladies, good night, commit suicide, death by one. And then we find this lady, Lily, almost she is a leading a life of death. It is, you can say, that life in death. She has become an antique piece. And still she is forced to take pills to bring it off. But a sad situation. So she is also fatal. The, the game of chess that we played with life in this, she is defeated. Miserably defeated. What about Ophelia? Would have been the queen of Denmark. But what happened to her? Defeat. So this is the central idea of this section. And uh, I have seen people arguing that this section is loaded with sexual overtones. See, because probably it is because, probably is it, for the title, A Game of Chess. It is taken from, as I told you, the game of chess that itself is a title of a play and here another, uh, another play by Thomas Middleton, Women Beware, women. women there is a game of chess, as side by side there is also a selection, a program of selection is going on. Therefore, that may be one of the reasons why many uh, people uh, I, I, I haven't at all, but some whatever literature I, I, could, uh, I, I could get hold of, I went through. And this section especially chess, there is, it seems that uh, there's a kind of obsession to say that this is all sexual maneuvering that's going on. Or uh, the kind of matrimonial misery dominates the scene. All these things are true, but to me, I think, I don't think that uh, the, uh, a, a point like the Eliot is so much obsessed with uh, sexual life, or failure in sexual life, or married life. It's more of that, it's a, it's a universal predicament. The fate of humans, therefore, I would suggest that, I would say that uh, T.S. Rich, this is an, this is an example for ellipsis. Something is left out to be understood. And that is, life is, is left out to be understood. A game of chess. And uh, I invite your valuable suggestions and discussions from you, because you have, uh, your brain is more fresh than mine, your mind is more active than mine, and uh, your thinking more is more modern than me, modern as, and therefore I suggest that if I have made any mistake, please correct me, or if what I have said is uh, right, the right perspective, the right view of this section, then you, uh, you can support me. I will welcome either way. You oppose me, support me, or say I will. So with this, we come to the end of this section. A game of chess, once again I say, according to me, this, the title is an example for ellipsis, a famous speech called ellipsis, you know, so. so that is a life, life is a game of chess, and life is a game of chess, and we are bound to be defeated, there is no scope, absolutely no scope, this pessimistic in the extreme, deplorably pessimistic. That's my opinion. Okay? So I hope that uh, you will find 
some scope for discussion and that is a classroom a classroom is meant for there should be a, a scope for discussion and I hope that you will participate in this in a constructive way so striking this optimistic note bye bye